Hey, what's up creeps? It's Cameron again, and welcome back to my channel where I talk about books, movies, writing, and all things spooky. And on this episode of Library Macabre, I have a review of Until Summer Comes Around by Glenn Rolfe. Seven's The Lost Boys is not only one of my favorite vampire movies, but one of my favorite movies, period. There are a lot of reasons for this. Giant 80s hair, a boardwalk carnival, kids fighting against murderous vampires, a greasy saxophone player. What more do you need? This book. You need this book. Until Summer Comes Around is the first book that I've read by Glenn Rolfe, and it certainly won't be the last, which I actually do have another book by him on my TBR cart that is Chasing Ghosts, so I'm going to be getting to this very, very soon. But anyway, back to Until Summer Comes Around. This follows a young boy named Rocky. He is 15 years old, and he lives in a seaside town with his parents and his sister. He spends his summer days at the boardwalk, playing games at the arcade, and eating fried food, but his simple life is disrupted when he falls in love with a young girl named November, who has just moved to town with her ill mother and her sinister brother, Gabriel. When people in Rocky's little town begin to disappear, Rocky begins to wonder if November's brother might have something to do with it. Simply put, if you like your vampire stories, fun, blood-soaked, and Lost Boys-esque, then look no further than Until Summer Comes Around. This had absolutely everything that I was wanting from a summer read, and it also had a bunch of heart. I really enjoyed the innocent kind of romance between Rocky and November, which is intercut with scenes of vampiric bloodshed and violence that was really fun. So you'd have these really cute scenes of them just on the boardwalk together being kids, and then later on that night you would have somebody being uh, viciously murdered by a vampire. So that was a pretty fun contrast that also reminded me a lot of The Lost Boys. And sure, Rocky and November fall in love very, very fast, but it's not done in a Twilight kind of YA romance way. I mean, this book treats them as 15 year olds. It treats them as young kids. They are coming of age. And even though I was thinking the whole time, oh, this is doomed to fail, I was still just enjoying it. It reminded me of, you know, being a kid and falling in love for the first time. At the end of the day, you're going to read the synopsis of Until Summer Comes Around and you're going to know right away whether or not it's for you. It's just, you know, nothing too deep, nothing too dark. It's just a fun, beachy read with a lot of 80s vibes. So I really dug it and I do recommend giving it a read. I will post links down below in the graveyard where you can order a copy for yourself. This is available from Flame Tree Press in paperback, hardcover, ebook, all that good stuff. Uh, I would also like to say thank you so much to Glenn Rolfe and Flame Tree Press for sending this along for review. I will definitely be buying a hardcover copy of this book very soon because I can see myself rereading this in future summers. Yeah. Very solid read from Glenn Rolfe, that is, until summer comes around. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Later, creeps. <gasps> you scared me. <laughs> <laughs>